just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off, and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left. Of the guy, I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 you know, showed his information, things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so, uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect, uh, leaving Christians like you know myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. All right, got two clips here that show some major pride and arrogance that comes out of Brian Dellinger. I used to follow his ministry after uh, I got out of the Stephen Anderson cult. I began to follow Brian's ministry, you know, very, uh, I guess you could say very uh, zealously for about uh, almost a year, you know, before I was eventually stabbed in the back for committing the unpardonable sin of speaking again to Brian Denlinger. But here's a clip I'm going to show. First of all, I want to read two scriptures. First, uh, Proverbs 11, verse 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. And also Proverbs 13, 10. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well-advised is wisdom. Okay, and, and what you're going to see in these two clips of Brian Denlinger is just full-on pride and arrogance coming out. Okay, no different than what you see from uh, Stephen Anderson in the new IFB. So here's the first clip where Brian Dillinger actually foolishly uh, likens going to combat in the military with going through his 20s. Okay, check this out. Okay, you learn some things when you're getting shot at. And when you've fallen down and you've gotten injured on the battlefield and whatever else. And you know the fear and, the, and the, all the emotions that go along with. Yeah, um, I learned a bunch of things when I was in my 20s. Yeah, and this next clip is actually shows where this kind of arrogance stems from. He basically has this mentality that because he is an elder, he is somehow kind of exempt from criticism or whatever. So whenever you try to criticize him, he'll throw his age. Well, I'm I'm forty. You know this. You know you're just a little kid. That kind of thing. Yeah, he you know he essentially gives off the mentality no different than what any kind of IFB pastor would would give any kind of you know new IFB cultist they would give of essentially don't question the man of God. Check this out. Right. And I got to say something else here before you go back to the video. I never as a teenager would have thought about talking this way about a preacher. You know, I mean, it just it's it's weird that they come out. That he has such authority that he can put down a guy that's 43 years old. Yeah, that's Brian Dillinger. You know, that's that's you know, it's funny thing about this. The sad, well, not really funny, but. It, it's sad, really, is the fact that he started off real good. He started off real strong and hard, but starting around, I'd say, like, maybe 2015, 2016, he began to go off the deep ends, and now he's just, just full of pride, full of arrogance, will not very seldom he takes any kind of correction, even from those in his little inner circle, which, ironically, uh, pretty much have now all left him because he's now come out against them. Now it's just that little, that little kid, JT, who is now the only one left in his little inner circle, the little upper echelon in his cult. And by the way, there's a cult that he runs. You, you look at the bite model, Stephen Hassan's bite model, his, his, the way he runs his little group, it ticks so many boxes of Stephen Hassan's bite model for a cult. That's why I call him Pope Brian Dillinger, because that's kind of the, the, the facade that he gives off. So I wanted to show you guys that, just pride and arrogance coming out of Brian Dillinger, which is sadly now a common occurrence with this guy. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.